That, everybody, is a red-backed shrike. Now, it's either a juvenile or a female. And I originally said female, but I think that it's actually a juvenile male because its back is very red, and it is also looking a bit scruffy. So let me just quickly consult the app. Shrike. No, not helmet shrike. Standard bog issue. Red-backed. Because the male, of course, looks nothing like the female. Yeah, it is the female, actually. It's not the male. She does have a, a redder back than I thought, and she's got a very distinctive, what they call scalloped underparts. And that means it looks, well, if you look on her breast, if she turn around, but she won't because she knows we're looking at her, you see, and she knows that the white part of her breast is much more obvious than her back. But she's got sort of scalloped markings down the front. And all the while the monotonous lark continues being very monotonous. Now the red-backed shrike, of course, is known as the shrike in the United Kingdom and probably various parts of Europe. It will be going back there sometime during the course of April, I imagine. And if you're only known as the Shrike in England, it tells you how, well, not quite insignificant, but certainly less than impressive the avian diversity is on the Mud Island. And that's not a function of any fault on the Mud Island's part. It's just because it's so far north. And the further north you go, or the f higher your latitude, north or south, of course, the lower the biological diversity tends to be.